Hot Sauce Gang and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats are with another dope Skibbity Toilet reaction because Elite Cameraman just dropped. The war is just starting, question mark? Now, I feel like we're all kind of getting this vibe from Skibbity Toilet as of late for maybe the past couple seasons is that the war is ramping up and it is legit just now starting. So I'm beyond hyped to see what he's gonna talk about here and what he's kind of predicting for the future uh, episodes and the rest of the season. But before we jump in this, why don't you show Elite Cameraman some love by subscribing to his channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, please smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. But enough talking. Let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Oh, let's get our learn on. Hello, everyone. Elite cameraman Hello, here. Elite cameraman. The last episode was insane. Oh, I'm saying that. And after watching episode 63 oh, at least 100 times, Season I wanted to talk about massive. plunger cameraman's comeback and the new dark speaker man. Episode 63 was really filled with action and many foreshadows so happy and eggs. Back. So we'll also go over some stuff that I didn't mention in my episode 63 analysis. This episode most likely marks the beginning of a new era for the Alliance. And if you don't want to miss any of the future analysis videos, make sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, here we go. Before we get into Plunger Cameraman's comeback, let's talk about the new character that was introduced last episode. As I mentioned in my last video, the Double Dagger Dark Speaker Man was seen before in that. episode... Double, Double Dagger Dark Speaker Man. That's the name. Because we got Assassin Speaker Man, Dark Speaker Man, Black Speaker Man, Double Dagger Dark Speaker Man is the best one. 24. But we can't be sure if it's the same Speaker Man because the speakers themselves are different. And it honestly seems like they have different personalities. Way different personalities. We don't know his backstory, but unless he was rejected by TV Woman, no one can become as cold as he is in that short amount of time. I got you, I got you, TV true. Woman. And we'll get to see the simp cameraman come back like a Jigachad, just like the dark speaker man. <laughs> if he is actually the same speaker man as the one in episode 24, this would mean that he got his speaker upgraded. This could actually mean that his speakers are a lot more powerful compared to other speakers, but we can't know for sure since he didn't even need to use his speakers this episode. If his speakers are special, it's probably something similar to Speaker Woman that was introduced in episode 61. It seemed like even though the speakers she had were similar when it came to power, she had more control over the power output. Maybe that's the case with the Double Dagger Dark Speaker Man as well. Double Dagger Dark Speaker Now let's I really talk about like his that. weapons. He has two weapons, just like how Plunger Massive Cameraman knives. had two plungers before, and it actually might be because of Plunger Cameraman. Maybe the speakermen saw how well the Plunger Cameraman was doing, and they decided to train someone to become like him. Two's better Intense than one. Intense training on like now. this on someone could really change their personality in a short amount of time. Maybe higher-ups from speakermen thought it would be best He's to train huge, the black speakerman we saw in episode 24. Who knows, I really don't think that we'll ever get an episode where his backstory is disclosed, but this really does feel possible with everything we are seeing because he is basically a replica of the old plunger cameraman. He has two weapons and a jetpack and nothing else. And a partridge His jetpack and a pear is also tree. special compared to other jetpacks we've seen throughout the series. It's probably an upgraded version of the old jetpacks that were being used, and we might They're start seeing the Alliance use this so jetpack more and more over time. Dark Speaker Man used this jetpack to fly towards the Samurai Skibidi toilet, killing him by stabbing him with his two daggers in one swift move. The moment after this in episode 63 shows us a lot about his personality. He really looks down on weak people. The fact that he didn't help the Max. cameraman get up shows his ego and his coldness. We don't know what he went through, but geez, bro couldn't even bother just lending a hand. <laughs> I love elite but it seems like when danger arises, humor. he'll never back down. Never what? Never give up. Because when the mutant Skibidi toilet what? attacked, he didn't hesitate for a single second, and he was ready to fight even before the mutant toilet was ready. But as you guys know, we had a shocking interference in this fight. We finally got to see the upgraded legendary double plunger cameraman come back. Bro's name is so long at this point soon, it'll fill up a whole page. Weirdly, I predicted almost exactly what was going to happen to him in my previous videos. 
Almost in every video where I talked about the plunger cameraman coming back after episode 57 part 1 was talking about how the mech scientist cameraman is most likely going to use the glitch toilet technology they captured in episode 54 to upgrade and fix plunger cameraman. I feel like we it's all so kind of felt because one day before get episode something like 63 that. was uploaded, I made a video about when the plunger cameraman might come back and I said the same stuff there. One thing I wasn't expecting him to come back this early because I thought we would see Titan TV Man come back first with his up. So I also thought we'd see Titan TV Man come back first just because he's been gone longer, dude. I mean, it's been a hot minute. Grades, but it seems like I was wrong on that. With his newfound powers, I really do think Plunger Cameraman can go against <laughs> almost anyone right he's now. One of my favorites, bro. I can't really call him the most powerful entity, but he certainly wouldn't die if he went against the Titans right now because of how slow they are. With upgraded Plunger Cameraman's new speed, he can most likely even go against G-Man alone because what is G-Man Toilet gonna do against him? Use lasers? Plunger Cameraman will simply go light speed and leave the place or attack from behind. Bro's plot armor is literally made with bedrock. Unbreakable. I like that. One thing I'm I really like surprised that. at is the fact- Elite Cameraman, you be dropping some funny shit this episode, bro. That his plungers are still just plungers. <laughs> it seems like they have no actual use other than to distract people. I really would love to see him getting some special plungers that can actually like deal some real damage because if we watch his comeback footage in slow-mo, even though he is using his plungers, they are not dealing that much damage. Instead, the impact of him crashing is dealing the damage. Maybe they have some sort of special attribute that we don't know yet, but we'll most likely learn soon enough because I'm sure that a big fight is approaching and everyone will most likely fight in it. We may even start getting longer episodes from now on because this episode was almost two minutes and maybe Dafuk is planning something special that will even be longer for the next big fight. The last time we got a huge fight was in episode 57, and that was almost two minutes. I think if 65 the lead up is going to be the next the big, big two minutes, fight. I wouldn't be surprised is even another a single build up. bit if episodes 67 to 70, where the big fights are most likely going to happen, turn out to be longer than three or four minutes each. I also don't think we saw the upgraded plunger cameraman's full capabilities because no, it seemed like he went either. too easy on the mutant Skibidi toilet besides the fact that he revealed the dude's bald spot. That's tough. Anyways, we will most likely see more of his and the Dark Speakerman's powers in episodes 66 to 70, if you ask me. Now let's get to some of the small details you might have missed, which I didn't mention in my previous video. Let's first start with the fact that the normal Skibidi toilets in the beginning now have claw-like hands. It seems like almost every Skibidi toilet in existence are getting these claws ever since episode 58, well, because and we'll most likely keep seeing them. It really looks like the whole species is evolving slowly, but there is another thing different about these Skibidi toilets, and it's that they are blonde. I can't remember a time when we saw blonde Skibidi toilets. Also, someone Isom mentioned in the comments that. that the scope being used is the same protection the TV men gave to cameraman for being safe against the TV beams in episode 40. Oh. Also, it looks like upgraded Titan cameraman got his hand cannon back after losing it on episode 55 while going against the skull toilet. See it when he's flying. It really is not clear if it's the same one or something else, but it looks like it's back. And his right arm seems a little strange because it looks a little too big, but might that might just be something? me making stuff up. It really seems like the Alliance is ready for a big fight. And with what we've seen lately, the Skibidi toilets are not slowing down either. They constantly are getting upgraded and trying to overcome their weaknesses. The upcoming episodes are most likely going to be legendary, so if you don't want to miss any of the analysis videos, make sure to subscribe Let's to go! the channel and enable We're here, baby! We got you, Link Cameraman! Hello, right, let me bring you in, Sauce Gang. Dude, I am so hooked on this freaking series! And it's only getting better and better. And that's because it's ramping up and up and Defook Boom is so freaking good at telling a story. Like that is what is so amazing about this is we're all invested in, in this because of the storytelling. And I love this like zigzag, yin and yang, back and forth we got going of who's got the momentum. I really thought the Skibbities were gonna start getting the momentum again, but I feel like with the last episode 63, it doesn't quite feel that way yet, but I think it's gonna happen because I think bare minimum this series goes to 100 episodes. I just think if the Fook Boom's gonna end it, it'll be around a round number. Sounds good, like 100, but 
Anyways, Elite Cameraman, thank you for making this. I absolutely loved it. Chat, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And make sure you show some support to Elite Cameraman by subscribing to his channel. And if you enjoy my reaction, please help support the channel by smashing that subscribe and like button. It's absolutely free and greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, is he sleeping? Make beats and as you'll be kind of one another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Cut, 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 cut. Got nothing but love for the Sauce Gang. Peace out, Sauce Gang. Woo, woo, woo.